Let's go to St. George. We're gonna go play some Space Marines 5. We are an underground laser tag community. We try to be above the ground, but come on, most people have no idea that laser tag is for anything other than birthday parties. Space Marines 5 is the game we play, and we use laser force equipment. So you have, you have two teams of six, and each team has a commander, a heavy weapons, ammo carrier, medic, and two scouts. And the goal of the game is to just eliminate the other team. The Loveland Sites theme is Egyptian, so I think I need to get in touch with my roots. I'm incredibly excited. I'm out of shape. I have not been practicing the way I was when we were gonna have internationals in 2020. We were actually, many of us were planning to go out to Auckland to New Zealand for that, but unfortunately COVID-19 hit and travel got banned and we canceled the whole thing and it was good that we did. But it means that none of us have really played in a tournament for well over a year now. We have players coming from all across the United States. I'm on my way to pick up some Sacramento, California players. Uh, Disco Monkey, Odin's Fist, Autumn, and the Kraken. They, they always have different color hair whenever I see them. Yeah, my hair's on the back, but it's rainbow. Yeah, mine's like the sun's and sunset. Autumn does all of our she hair. Does, she does She's hair. very talented. That is nuts. In, the, in this arena we're going to in St. George, my favorite position to play is Scout by far. In St. George, in my other favorite arena. is probably Commander. I can't remember my favorite position here, but I know my least favorite position everywhere is Heavy. <laughs> Hanging out here in the hotel room with the fear turkey. A sub, dude. That's bagel to you. Excited to pretend like COVID doesn't exist for a couple of days. Check. See what I have to deal with. Sacrifice my king. I don't accept the draw. The pacing is like first. Wait to come up. You know? <laughs> like, it's fucking horrible. You like, think it's better than St. George's Arena? Yeah. Well, no, because St. George, you actually have to, like, there's a continuous flow, right? It's not a break in traffic. It's been over a year, man. I feel like we might have some changes to our play style. A little lazy, you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my play style is now I'm just going to stand Luke, here. I need you to go attack Blue. No! <laughs> Why not? I'm not full. Show me your gun. No. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, I'm changing the language. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I'm changing the language. Two of my Loveland compadres from Colorado. What are your code names? Sergeant Tucker. Bagel. <laughs> Joe, what are your thoughts on the St. George Arena? Uh, it's fun because it's so compact. Like, you get to do. You, you can play from anywhere, even though there's two really good spots to, like, optimize your team. And there's no, like, one way of playing because it's a fluid style of play throughout the entire thing. Hmm. And so it it focuses a lot more to the teamwork aspect than to the, you know, solo dolo or two people doing a hard care. Right? I'm reading the Book of Mormon. We are in Utah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. All right. Do it again. <laughs> From the first tournament. <laughs> the first tournament. Please. Sauce. Let me play laser tag. Ranger, why are you thinking of hurting your ankle? It wouldn't be laser tag. We're hurting our ankle. All right. Let's go and do a thing. Um, Let's go and do a thing. Very tough conference. We're about to pack one. Stick to the art of firepower. There's nothing they can't handle. Just a little way. He's a three hit. He's not one more.
first scout game. I showed uh, pine size my phaser and it had a negative 120. Autumn. Get lives. But the issue with tag is you can't, you can't treat it like that, right? You can't just be like, okay, these are my five pieces because like a uh, fan was just saying at the diner, synergy matters, right? And sometimes certain players get better because they have that synergy with somebody else, right? Like admittedly when Josiah and I are together, I get better at three hits because I know what I can rely on Josiah for and I can do that stuff, right? And like when you and I are the alternate three hits with each other, I can flow with you a lot better because I know what you're looking for me to do and when you come back, I know what you want me to go to, right? right. I'm pretty sure no matter what team Nolan would play on, Nolan would be one of the top performers on that team and make that team significantly better. Yeah, he I could think literally really play with better. anyone from any site and I think he, he would make them successful. That dude is a fucking beast. He's also very, very good at adapting the way he sees around. Oh, this is great. Let me get that nice HD. Oh, yep, yep. oh yeah. I'm going to try to do this without giving you six hours of other coaching for us. Okay. It's really hard to do this because... Okay, let's say he leaves the base, he's got 45 shots and 30 lives. Okay, he goes out to fight and... Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we got to pass Again? on the, the next year. It's an instructive moment. <laughs> Arena control is this. If you break it, arena control down to its simplest terms, it's putting the enemy team in between your team. Yeah, like you, you want your teammates on the outside of their team. The problem we have is we see teams set their resets up here and the commanders push the base this way. What the commanders need to do is run and push the base this way. When you when you're when you're standing here attacking green base, you're not putting the enemy players in. You want to go in and push the Right. So if you come in from yellow, is there a better chance that you flush the towards blue or is it just Well, to sum the point really quickly, um, the reason the, the scout and the commander have to learn to work together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so the reason the scout is standing here is because when the commander comes up to red base here to flush the scout out. Yeah. The scout does not want to come this way. Because he's not he's not putting the enemy player in between his team and their team. So the scout wants to move this way. This is the correct play. You can't make that play for the scout. We have to put him in the Okay. So there is got to Right, exactly. This is the right thing. This is what you want. You want to put him in between your team. I would just give So the first position is here. You are trying to influence the movements of this player. He knows that once he sees he sees you, now he has to retreat that way and that's your goal. Yeah. And we'll have to finish. We'll talk about that. Sorry. A video of Luke in the ref pack? Yeah, yeah. that's how we'll turn it. But in the ref pack. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> This is where I spent half of the games in a ref pack recording people. It's fun. It's better than sitting down and waiting. Packing state of the art. Hey, right team's ready! There's nothing they can't handle. Let's rock! You're gonna pivot your foot, come out into a side, and then you're gonna flick. Right? So, like so. But a side kick is going to be able to transition into one of these. Day three. Things are going pretty darn well. You have people that are really taking it seriously and trying to win their game super hard. Other people are, are enjoying just having to be kind of casual. Um, and, and I, you know, I'm really excited for the next actual tournament Laser Force does, but this has been really nice, especially with COVID and coming out of it. Um, we really haven't played much for the last year, like at all, actually, most sites. Um, but St. George players play like two or three times a week, apparently, so they are fine. I've been surprised to see how many players are really stepping up this tournament, actually. Um, and just like exceeding expectations. It's, it's kind of ridiculous how some players that a few years ago, like, no offense to them, they were still pretty new and not doing much. But now, I'm, I'm seeing some massive improvements across the board. Players are just coming out of nowhere as these star players. It's nuts. It's cool to see that growth. 
I feel like this is something Laser Force really needs. It's just we, we need new players to keep coming up through the ranks and maybe revitalize the scene. My favorite thing so far is how much fun people are having. People are here to have fun, and people are uh, they are okay when they lose compared to a, to a tournament setting. And I really love getting to play with some of these players that are always on my on opposite teams. Uh, it's really fun to see how we synergize because uh, it just doesn't happen normally. Get in there. You see that? That's what you should be. <laughs> My name's Slaughtermelon. My favorite position is Scout. What's your favorite thing about the event so far? My favorite thing was going on a, a hike walk with some of the players. Nice. Where'd you go? What was it called? Dick. Sugar Dick. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what was the most surprising thing about this event so far for you? How happy I was to see everybody. Disco Monkey, and my favorite position is generally Scout or Commander, but I actually really like playing Heavy uh, since I've been here. You know, like, I, I love the people. It's, you know, I, I love playing Laser Tag, but playing Laser Tag with cool people makes it a thousand times better. I think the most surprising thing is uh, actually probably how distracted I've been by missing my family. You know, like, uh, in events past, I've come and I haven't really thought about my family much, which sounds like a dick move on my part, but I'm really missing them. This time, so. For sure. I mean, I got two of my daughters here with me, which is really special and cool. But uh, I got two younger kids at home that I normally spend a lot of time with lately, and I've been missing them a lot. And my wife a lot. Yeah, for sure. Well, hopefully they'll see this and get all teary eyed. Yeah. Fireball DK, and it's all about the ammo. Um, what's your favorite thing about the uh, event so far? That I'm actually here. Didn't think it was gonna go. Yeah, hey, surprised everyone. Yeah. Okay. Um, and most surprising thing? Surprisingly, like, other than me being here, like, right? By surprising people? Yeah, you knew about it, so you can't use that. Mm, other California people got really good, like Zeb and Kadama and Connor. They're just beasts on people, and I'd be happy to be their ammo, but I can't be their commander. Right, dude. If you ever make a California hybrid team, it's gonna be scary. Uh, my codename's Chaser, favorite position, Commander Scout. What's your favorite thing about the event so far? Um, it's low key, it's kind of nice. I, I'm only here for a couple hours because I'm in school, so for sure. I leave early, I'm just here as a sub, but it's fun. Didn't you top early. score yesterday? No, that was not me. I think you were number one. You're thinking, you're thinking wrong. Probably the bottom. I was probably heavy, it's probably on the bottom. So. <laughs> Alright. Most surprising thing about this event? Uh, it's not a surprise, but how often I get shot three times in the back. Usually not from far away, usually they're right behind me, and I just need to turn around. So. I aim yeah. into that. Yep. Alright, thank you, man. <laughs> What's your code name and what's your favorite position? Uh, Royal Flash and Machine. What's your favorite thing about the event so far? Um, probably shooting people. Great. That's my favorite thing too. Most surprising thing? I don't know. I don't. I don't really get surprised by many things anymore. <laughs> Not even missiles? Huh? Not even getting missiles? No, that's that's definitely not surprising to me. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about the event so far? Um, first of all, hanging out with Otto. And I know her favorite part is hanging out with me. Um, but my favorite part is when, um, you know, I was on the team yesterday, and you know, I, I just don't know if super hot, but everyone on the team, especially if you're they're like, Rack is the final boss. I mean, they came up like, you know what, I am the final boss. And then I 
I just went harder. And so I think having, sometimes it's starting to freak me out, but I'm like, yeah, I am a final boss, you know, I'm a beast, and that really encouraged me. Yeah. For you? Mm -hmm. Or is it just hanging out with Greg? Yeah. Cool, cool. And most surprising thing about the tournament, or events, sorry. The team building. <laughs> yeah, the team building. Have you liked your team so far? Well, not the like, team building as a group, but like the, the teams that were the, the Oh yeah, I love team. all the people here, so any team that I put on, I'll be happy with. It's just that some of them are a tad bit very strong. A tad bit very strong? Yeah. All right, thank you both. Yeah. My code name is Kodama, and at the current moment, my favorite position is heavy. For sure. Uh, what's a Kodama? Can you show uh, us? Yeah, it's this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite thing about the tournament so far? Or event? Um, probably, I'm surprised at how well the honor system for the rules is working. Yeah? I'm surprised at the, how little cheating I experience in the games. All right. That's Everyone's being pretty chill. Yeah. Favorite moment from the tournament so far? Um, uh, resetting the entire enemy team as a medic. Dude, it, it, awesome. Um, what is your code name and what's your favorite position to play? Snuffles and Scout. All right. Favorite thing about the event so far? Hanging out with everyone, seeing everyone again, not getting to go to Nats. Last year was a knife in the chest, so it's just fun, you know, mostly. And destroying people, namely Zev, but yeah. No greater pleasure, huh? No, no greater pleasure. No. Uh, most surprising thing about the event? Most surprising thing about the event? How many 10k scout scores you got? That's a good one. How many 10k scout scores I've gotten? Like, people need to pick it up. Yeah. I'm shooting three hits in the back, left and right. Like, it's too easy. Like, come on, guys. I know you had a year of not playing, but we need to pick it up. Otherwise, Nets, eventually, it's just going to be a complete scout. Like, come on, please. <laughs> What is your code name and what's your favorite position to play? Uh, my name is Snowflake, and uh, in this arena, uh, my favorite is Heavy, but probably Commander. Nice. Um, what's your favorite thing about the event so far? Uh, seeing people that I haven't been able to see in a long time, and uh, I got something down here for you. Oh yeah, we, we saw, I got footage of that. We uh, got a matching tattoo with some friends, but uh, getting to see people I don't get to see. That's been the best part of it. And what's been the most surprising thing? Uh, the most surprising thing was... Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm sleep of the week, and here probably am. Uh, favorite thing about the event so far? Um, just hanging out with people and playing tag again. We don't have a home arena, so. For sure. And most surprising thing? Most surprising thing is uh, doing a lot better than last time. Yeah. Yeah, you've really improved. Thanks. Super close up. My code name is Mischief, and my favorite position is Commander. I love seeing how every time I come out to a new tournament, everybody's improved and changed. Like they're all living their own lives uh, off on the side, and we come back, and then we're just like pretending to be these awesome space soldiers for the week. So I love seeing everybody. What's your least favorite thing about the tournament so far? Right. And <laughs> tell us why Caleb or Slaughtermelon is your least favorite player. Because every time I try to fight him, on the third floor, he runs at me and kicks me off, takes my medic from me. Why do you do it? Hi! 
I'm still trying to figure out what my favorite thing is. <laughs> and why is Caleb's favorite thing sugar dicks? <laughs> Correction! <laughs> I meant to say dick sugar. <laughs> Welcome to Space Marines 5. I need a happy, happy early 18th birthday. Thank you. I neither intend it seriously or take it seriously. Thank you. Yeah, next time I see one, I'll probably eat one more lit. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Overall, I'm really sad that this is ending. I mean, it's been so long since I've gotten to come out here, but man, it feels good to be in this community. I'm no longer like one of the new people. I feel like I'm definitely part of this. And I really like these people too, you know? Like the friendships are really just growing more and more. Some of them are new, some of them are like a continuation from the last time I saw them. I don't remember where the Airbnb is. This is all on you. No, I got the address. Way in the corner there. You're recording. <laughs> so I'm the blue pieces. All of these guys are in this little, little county. Last day. Driving back. Gonna miss this place. Hate to see me go. Love to watch me leave. St. George's Arena is exhausting, and I definitely found myself getting fatigued, especially because I didn't train for this or anything. This time in particular, even though I felt kind of hard on myself after a few really bad games, I I just wasn't able to go collect myself. I had developed this this method of controlling my emotions where I just went outside, breathed, took a walk, remembered what's important to me, and I came back in and I was able to keep playing. It was fun. I'm really happy I came out and got to see everyone. That's the bottom line. It always is. Uh, what's your code name? What's your favorite position? Uh, my name, is, my code name is Rusty, and my favorite position is medic. Yeah. 